Hi, everybody. John McElroy here talking all things automotive. Today, I'm talking with Craig Beschoner. He's the director of sales with Schaltbau. Also, Carolyn Sauer is the business development director of Schaltbau. And Carolyn, I'm going to start with you because I'm sure there's people wondering, what is Schaltbau? What is Schaltbau? That is a very good question. We get that quite a bit. Uh, Scheltbau is a company that's based in Germany, nearly 100 years old. Uh, so surprising you haven't heard of us, except that our expertise has always been in DC power. And we've predominantly been focused on the railway market. So that's where we really got our start with snap action switches and intelligent you know, master controllers um, and some pretty robust DC contactors. And now we're expanding into you know, energy and e-mobility markets, because there's a lot of applications and segments that that need these types of products. Craig, uh, Schalpel is not the only company into DC contactors and switches. What makes Schalpel's products different from the competition? Well, I think it, it comes down to the, the technology for our contactors. And, and that's, you know, one of the things that we try, we're trying to do is to spread that message of the differences between what we have to offer versus what the competition has. Um, we, we call it's a, an open air technology, which is, I won't go to the nitty gritty. Details, no, no, no. It's but, fine. Cause it's, I have certainly is, is different than what's out in the market and the perception of what open air really means. Mm -hmm. Um, and what the advantages that it brings, uh, our contactors versus what's out on the market today. So what is open air? Let's let's get into that. Well, open and, air, and, and, and I know when you say open air, there's going to be people going to yeah. go, wait a minute, what are you talking about? Not just from a, a lack of knowledge. No, they know, and they know that open air doesn't work. Right. I mean, a couple things is one that's it's actually uh, acts as kind of as a vent. Um, our technology, there's magnets inside there that actually help or quench the arc uh, when things are switching uh, high voltages. There's uh, little things that happen inside the contactor that it needs to exert or vent out in, in compared to what's out in the market today, they're encapsulated. Um, those things aren't allowed to happen with open air. It allows that to happen. Mm -hmm. And we'll get into some more of uh, the particulars on that, but uh, let's get back to Schalpau for a moment here, Carolyn. Mm -hmm. uh, you said based in Germany, but it's a global organization. Where is Schaltball in the world? Yeah, so Schaltball is everywhere. We're on every continent. We're, you know, in the UK, we're in China, Korea, obviously the US. Um, so, you know, our US headquarters here is in New York. Um, and I'm based out of Detroit to really kind of service the emerging markets. And where in the US is, is the company located? Uh, they're in Hapag, New York. Um, so right off of Long Island. So there we have about a 10,000 square foot warehouse and we do some types of assembly, um, a little bit of rail customization still. We're still, you know, really big into the rail. Um, and then our, our headquarters and, and corporate functions are there. So you do have some manufacturing in the U.S.? We do. It's small. Mm -hmm. uh, there's this concept, uh, Craig, that Schalpel talks about, rail to road. Can you give me a bit of the background and what that all means? Well, it's it's really as Carolyn was mentioning, uh, Shalpo is really known for in the rail industry, and it's the good and the bad, right? They're well known, but well known in the rail industry primarily, and not so much into the road, which we automotive or commercial vehicle. So they developed all this technology for the rail, which is a pretty demanding um, industry. Um, so we have the technology, the know-how, and so now we're applying it to, to the road, to commercial and automotive. Mm -hmm. And Carolyn, what other markets? So you, you got rail moving into road. I'm sure there's other applications. There are. Um, and it's interesting because as we're seeing kind of a little bit of a slowdown right now with the EV market and charging infrastructure, um, those were two primary markets that we've been focusing on. We also find that there are a lot, there's a lot of need in um, battery test bench systems, um, material handling, whether it's, you know, robust connectors or our contactors and AGVs, warehouse robots. Uh, but we're also seeing a need in mining, construction. So what's really cool to me about the company is we really are able to take our know-how from rail, which is a unique industry, and really apply all of those types of um, know-how 
and kind of minimize the contactor size, shrink them down, but still be able to provide you know, robust contactors that um, meet shock and vibe requirements for all of these different types of applications. Mm -hmm. and, and you're doing a lot of this under a new brand name too, right? We are. You, you, you've got the corporate name, Shalpal, but yes. now you've got this new brand name, Edisey. Yes, yeah, so in case people didn't know who we were before, <laughs> uh, we're mixing it up a little bit, but I think the main reason we decided to do that is because, again, Shalpal has such a strong brand reputation in rail. We wanted our customers to understand that we are still very focused on rail. We also wanted new markets to understand we're dedicated to energy, e-mobility, emerging markets. And so the Edison name is kind of a play off of Thomas Edison, who was a proponent of DC power and DC, which is the type of power that is our expertise. So Edison, so, I, I, I see yes. it, yes. <laughs> so Edison. So Sheltbau, so Edison a Sheltbau brand is, uh, you know, kind of our tagline. Mm -hmm. um, Craig, you know, you, we've talked about rail, we've talked about automotive and, and other things. Wh what about like energy storage, you know, uh, the, the big windmills, solar power, I got to believe those are perfect DC applications. Certainly, certainly is. And that's, that's, that's a market that Coming to Shelpo, my background was in commercial vehicle, and I didn't have much exposure to those markets. And I'm learning a lot in the last three months that, especially when you think about battery storage, energy storage, um, data centers that are that are popping up all over all over the country, all over the world, and the need for that type of of uh, system. So it's definitely a, a growing market, um, and one that uh, we're starting to have some some success in, but there's a lot more to be done. So with all these new market opportunities, Carolyn, how do you meet market demand? So uh, we obviously have the DC expertise know-how. We have a very strong R&D department in Germany, constantly developing, innovating. Um, you know, we've launched seven new products since I've been with the company in three and a half years, and we have two more coming out this year. And what we do is we really meet with customers and prospects to understand what are their needs in the electrification space, um, power, all of those types of things. What are their shock, their vibration? What kind of contact resistance do they need? And we have a portfolio of contactors that will meet those different specifications. So in a case of a heavy commercial truck, you know, we might be using something that manages a thousand volts, 1500 volts of power versus, you know, something in a charging station where we might be able to do, you know, 500 volts or a thousand volts. So different applications, different sizes, um, test bench systems, they all vary. So, you know, some of the contactors they use are a little bit larger, but they're, um, they're also trying to accommodate quite a bit for packaging space. So, you know, our whole method of operation has been take our know-how and keep shrinking it down as much as physics will allow us to do, um, you know, to meet these different requirements. And, and we do. Mm -hmm. Craig, Shalpal's got this, uh, what they call the, the C3XX series. And then there's this new one coming out, C380. What can you tell us about them? Right. The, C, the C300 series is a contactor designed for the energy storage, battery storage uh, systems. The C uh, 800 yeah. series is designed is IATF compliant and geared towards more commercial vehicle and automotive mm -hmm. applications. Mm -hmm. So those are new products that uh, are uh, out uh, today, and um, a lot of lot of the uh, design efforts are put into that to fit into those. To as Carolyn said earlier, with the technology from the rail industry. You know, you go from large contactors down to something small and compact, and that's where these uh, evolutionize from. Carolyn, uh, give me some more background on the advantage of Edison contactors. My, my understanding is they're bi-directional. Absolutely. That is one of our biggest benefits. So there are competitive products on the market that also say they are bi-directional. When you look at the fine print, they don't always they're not always bi-directional to the full extent of the capability of the contactor. Um, when we say fully bi-directional, we're a German company, we are erring on the side of caution. It is fully bi-directional. And that's something that really comes in handy, you know, when you're looking at the fact that our contactors can be used on both a charging station, for example, and the vehicle side as well. Mm -hmm. So I, I have to refer to my notes on this because this is something I wanted to ask you about. 
you've got semi-open magnetic blowout with silver tin oxide contact tips. That's a mouthful. What's that all mean? It is. Uh, that's a lot of our know-how. So what Craig was talking about earlier, um, most customers are uh, very familiar with gas encapsulated uh, closed sealed contactors. Ours use a different know-how. So we're actually using a magnetic blowout uh, system um, in some cases across an arc chamber. And we also use silver tin oxide tips um, instead of copper. And the reason we do those things is because all of these elements working together help to quench the arc uh, more evenly and more quickly. Um, so you don't end up having the overheating, the possible thermal events that can happen when you have something that's enclosed that gets very hot. Mm -hmm. Craig, when I hear you guys talk about super high voltage DC arcing and open air and all that, Safety's got to be a critical component of what goes into all this, I imagine. Certainly. I mean, that's, that's you know, especially in the, the EV market, that's always a, a critical factor. Um, and what we've done to design our contactors is to, to eliminate that, you know, to make them safer. Um, and all that's built in, you know, with our know-how. Mm -hmm. And I want to just build on that for a minute because that's really when we talk about the semi encapsulated, I don't think I answered that earlier. Um, there's the gaps are smaller, obviously, than the what we refer to as the open air system within our chamber. And um, that's one of the reasons that we we do that. We still have some opening because it does help with the heat dissipation. Um, but also the openings are small enough that you don't have to worry about, you know, anything getting out into um, an open system. Mm -hmm. Carolyn, uh, I also understand Shalpo does a lot of consulting too. So you're not just selling products. Tell us about the consulting side of the business. Right. So we don't actually call ourselves consultants, um, but we do a lot of customization. We very much engage our R&D department, our engineers, when we're working with a customer, because again, everyone's requirements for all these different applications is different. So we really work with them to understand the requirements so that first of all, we can recommend the right product. And second of all, that we can make some adaptations if we need to. Very interesting. Well, I want to thank the both of you for bringing me up to speed, certainly, Absolutely. and the audience <laughs> of who Shopal is, what it does, and uh, the benefits of the products. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you for having us. And um, if anyone has any more questions, they can follow us on LinkedIn and also visit us live and in person at the Battery Show coming up in October. Real good. Thanks, John. Thanks, John.